Hello, welcome to another video. I'm very excited about today's video. It's gonna take place over a couple of days. This is going to be a bit of an office revamp, office redecoration, and a new bookshelf vlog. I'm getting three new bookshelves. Two are replacing the two bookshelves that I have here. These are just standard Billy bookcases. Book I've had these since I lived back in my family home. They have done me very well, but they don't really match the office vibe anymore so I'm going to be getting some different ones and then I'm also getting one extra one to put behind where the camera is at the moment because I have a bit of free space since I got a new desk and rejigged everything. I'm very excited because it means I'm going to have more bookshelf space. I have nine bookshelves at the moment which yeah all right it's, it's a lot I give you it's a lot and I'm going to have ten but I am so excited because everything is spilling off of every shelf at the moment and I know I need to do an unhaul but we're not there yet so I'm going to be able to actually expand out and have a bit more space now for my books. So I'd like to both thank and blame Cody from Cody's Book Corner for this, partially, because I basically bought a new desk about two months ago and the desk is so much better for the space than the one I had before. It just works a lot better and it just is much more functional for me working multiple jobs and being able to have a corner desk. The desk is brown and black and obviously these are white bookshelves. Now I do have my wardrobe there which is white and very big, however it's kind of in a separate part of the room. Like It's not a massive space in here but I wanted to make it feel nice and cosy and I really like the brown of the desk and I wanted to do, expand that to the bookshelves. Cody then put up a video getting new bookshelves and arranging said bookshelves. And the bookshelves that Cody got were like exactly the same design as my desk. So they've got like this cross wire thing behind them, which my desk has. And the walnut brown color looks exactly the same. So I was like, well, I had to get these. So I messaged Cody to get the link for the bookshelves and they were out of stock for the longest time. They finally came back into stock. So I've got two, as I said, to go here and then one to go over there. So I will be getting rid of these ones. And that has involved having to clear out this cupboard because this cupboard was where I put all of my little knickknack bits, any book subscription bits, any like notebook type things. I've had to completely clear this. So there is a couple of bits in it that will be going on the shelves once they get put in. But so that's already gonna give me three shelves back from having the cupboard space. So I'm very excited about that. I'm gonna be painting the walls in my office as well. So I'm not gonna be painting this wall or that wall. I'm gonna be painting this wall and that wall. <laughs> and I'm gonna be painting it Lick 18, I think it is. Or Lick Green 18, sorry. So I'm gonna be working with Lick for a promotion on Instagram. So this is the color that I have gone for and I am so excited. So the paint arrived today. It's currently Friday, but I'm not gonna be painting until next Wednesday. I'm gonna be clearing out the room on Tuesday or as best as I can, painting Wednesday, and then hopefully getting it all back together again on Wednesday. I don't know if that's ambitious or not. I'm not the biggest fan of painting, especially with having to move all the stuff out of the way, but I do have some help with it. So hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a nightmare, but this is the color I'm going for. We've got new bookshelves, completely new shelf space to be able to rearrange the shelves in the lounge a little bit as well. Really excited, but I wanted to make it a little bit of a vlog because it's gonna be complete rearrange of that shelf that's gonna be brand new, but also because I will have more shelf space, I'll be able to rearrange a little bit of the shelves in my lounge. I don't wanna massively revamp anything because I do like the way that those shelves are laid out, but it's nice to have the option to be able to space things out a little bit and not have like them rammed right in, which is currently what the situation is. So. That's all happening, but I wanted to do a quick intro because also I didn't want to forget to do the intro, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a before and after as well. So let me show you what the room looks like at the moment. Okay, so this is the current setup. So we have the space here that has currently got the bookshelves in their boxes, but this is where the new bookshelf is gonna go. And then I've got my drawers. I've basically got books everywhere at the moment that I'm waiting to put on this new shelf. So then this will be obviously remaining where it is, but we'll have this wall green and this wall green. At the moment, because it's the evening, you can't really tell very well. And I've also got my streaming set up because I'm just about to go live on Twitch. So the lighting is a little bit different to obviously what it'll look like during the day. And then this wall will also have the green. Sorry, the lights are not enjoying life at the moment. And then these shelves are gonna be going and I'm gonna be getting new shelves in here. I think it's definitely gonna be different to try and work everything out. I did have artwork all the way up here and over here, but I've switched it to go on the side of my wardrobe here instead. So that's an idea of what's gonna be happening. Basically when I paint, everything bar the desk and the wardrobe is gonna be out of the room. So I'm basically just gonna try and pull this as far this way as possible and then try and deal with this art wall. It's just, I'm not excited for the painting, I'm excited for the bookshelf side of things, but it's gonna look really good. Also, annoyingly, there's a plaster coming to fix a bit of damage to the wall up here, and I was gonna be painting up the wall here. I'm so sorry about the lights, they're really flickery, I don't know why. 
I was going to be painting up here and like continuing the, the green up but now I'm not sure because the plaster has got to come and that's going to be like literally could be months away apparently so I don't know I might just do up to there for now and then have it as a thing I'll get back to I'm not sure I'm not really sure but this is the idea this is going to be the empty space of the bookshelf I'm so excited it's such a perfect space and also it gets to cover up the mess of cables and stuff so I'm buzzing but right now I'm gonna gonna jump on a twitch stream but this is all what is gonna be happening it's all to come I hope you enjoy this vlog there are no instructions here <laughs> let's wing it okay I have made the shelves and I feel just about ready to completely crash because this was a lot there's one out here as well there we go that's the biggie obviously none of them are actually staying here but I need to clear the room out and paint it but I have made these today so that they're done I'm glad they are done but my god they were not as easy as I expected them to be and they also one of them didn't have instructions and despite them all being the same design they were all requiring slightly different build adjustments so you can't even really tell but this one will be staying here obviously I will move it out because I need to paint and there's, there's some books on it to demonstrate its purpose this one will not be staying here however I'm glad that I put this here just to know it fits because if I ever do need another bookshelf I could get another one that's the same height as this one but as narrow as this one but that one will be going over there with the big one that's out in the hallway so I'm pleased it's done and that I can start properly tomorrow night clearing the room out I'm not looking forward to it I feel like my body is exhausted already and it's Monday but tomorrow night you can't see anything it's so dark in here sorry tomorrow night my friend is coming around and helping me clear out the space and then Wednesday the paint begins hello today is day one of two of sorting out this office so today is the day where I have to clear as much of this room as I possibly can so that's going to involve taking all the bookshelves off of the shelf sorting all of the books out, putting them in another room, getting the bookshelves out of here, moving the futon out, and then the part I'm dreading the most is moving the desk. So the desk isn't going to be leaving the room because that is going to be really difficult, but I'm hoping to keep as much on the desk as possible and to just move it into the corner of the room because everything else will be cleared out. So that is the plan. I do have someone coming over to help me. I'm not trying to do this all on my own. I am going to move like the books and stuff out by myself, but then my friend's coming over later to help with the, the proper moving of the things. I am working today as well, so this is all around work hours, so I've done a little bit before work. I will be doing a little bit of my lunch break and then after work. So that is the plan for today. Tomorrow the painting begins and then everything has to be put back in. The part I'm excited for is the bookshelf reorganisation. That's the part I am here for. The rest of it I just kind of want done. I don't enjoy painting and the idea of putting the masking tape on the corners of all the walls is honestly stressing me out, but it's going to be fine because it's going to look great. Also, I have a little bit of an update change thing. It's not particularly a big deal, but I got a little bit excited about it, so I want to show you. So these two bookshelves I have here were a kind of accidental addition to this corner of the room when I moved in. I seriously misestimated the size of this room, and I wanted to have like a curved bookshelf thing happening there. So I was going to have one of those was going to be like in the corner and the other one was going to be along this wall. Completely stupidly misestimated actually partially because I had to leave a gap for the light switch here so that changed so I ended up putting those two bookshelves there obviously in an ideal world that would just be one Billy bookshelf and not two because it does kind of break up the shelves a little bit in an unnecessary way and I was just sat last night looking at the bookshelves and I realized well I've got one Billy bookshelf free now because I'm going to be moving it out of my office so I'm actually going to do just to give myself a bit more work, is clear all the books off of this shelf, or these shelves, and put the office bookshelf in here, removing the cupboard doors from it, and put that bookshelf in here, so that it's just one bookshelf and I can get a tiny bit extra space on it. Obviously you can't see any shelves down there, so I'm going to use that as a little bit of a storage area, but it's not quite big enough to do that at the moment because of the divide in the middle. So, that's another thing that I've got to do. I'm just giving myself more work at this point. Kind of dreading taking the fairy lights off of this one, not gonna lie, because I feel like they're just gonna tangle, but when it's done, it'll be great. So that's the plan for in here. Literally nothing's changing here. I mean, things are changing because I'm gonna be like removing books. This shelf, for example, I think I'm gonna be putting this shelf or remaking this shelf on 
one of these, not that one, obviously that's not staying there. But this shelf and this shelf, this is my thriller shelf, kind of, and this is my dark academia shelf. And I want the new bookshelf to be thriller, horror and dark academia because I have a massive stack of horror well kind of obviously Donata is not horror um, but I have a massive stack of books here that I have been basically waiting to put on this new shelf so I need to redo things and I don't want this shelf to look gappy because this is kind of like these are my main shelves I would say so yeah things are happening it's starting today I'm looking forward to two days time when it's all done. Also, this is the shelves in the daylight because I realized that I showed it to you in the dark yesterday and you could probably barely see them. I am thinking of ordering another one that is the narrow one, but this height for this space, because obviously that shelf is not gonna be staying there because I think that actually looks really nice. And I feel like that kind of completes the, the desk space area. So I may do that. I haven't fully decided yet. Feel like I'm moving in again. I have completely prepped the room. We have masking tape. Everything's covered up. Everything's moved out. I mean, it feels so weird in here having no furniture. I mean, I have got the furniture, obviously. I couldn't move the desk out, but all the bookshelves and everything is gone. Yeah, feeling ready. We are ready to paint. Well, tomorrow. Ready to paint tomorrow. It's now like midnight. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop now and go to bed. When you actually have all your books out in one area, I mean, this isn't all my books. This is two stacks that were from the bookshelf over there. And this is all the ones that are in my office. It's just a lot, isn't it? Like on a shelf, it doesn't look quite as much as this, but when you have it out like this, this is a lot. I'm excited to rearrange it, but yeah, huge amount of books. Also progress on this bookshelf. I did it. I actually managed to move this by myself, which was a bit of a mistake possibly, but I really just wanted to know it was done and have all the books back on. So that sorted. That was two half size bookshelves narrow wise, and now it's one full size Billy. So I'm really pleased I got to keep that one because that was the first Billy I bought myself when we moved, like when I finished uni, we moved house and we had a big house move. I bought this bookshelf and I like have some kind of sentimental attachment to it. So I'm glad that I could keep that in here and also have a little bit more room in here because now I've got like the divide as in room on the bookshelf not room in the lounge but now the divide down the middle is gone I've got space for more books so I'm really pleased with that I'm looking super sexy today in my paint gear it is time nearly to start painting okay so the person that was going to help me paint today has just unfortunately cancelled so I am going to be doing it solo now which is fine like it's not I don't think it's an issue to do it solo it's just obviously taking more time but that's okay so I'm about to pour the paint. Let's get going. As per usual when I film things, this is nothing like the actual colour in front of me that's coming up on my camera, but it is now gone to, I started this at nine and I have finished the painting. Actually, surprisingly went quite well. Like doing it solo was definitely exhausting, <laughs> but it's done. I'm gonna start putting things back together now and I will talk to you again when it's bookshelf time.
Okay, it is the next day and I am now ready to show you the finished product of yesterday's labours and they were labours indeed. I'm sorry that I didn't vlog much yesterday, it became incredibly busy, my body was not thanking me and I think I was all in all doing all this for about 12 to 13 hours so yeah, I didn't really think too much about picking up the camera, I also didn't want to get paint on the camera because there was paint everywhere on me, but I'm really pleased that you can see a little bit here, I'm so excited to show you, I'm going to do a little tour, walking tour of the room and the space and then just sit down and talk about it all. Okay, so when you walk into the space, this is what it looks like, I've got my wardrobe here and I have got my bookshelves in here. This is the biggest change in terms of layout, if if I can call it that. This was an empty space and I am very wary of not having to fill every empty space with furniture, however I really really like what this has done to the space, the colours it's added in and just makes it feel more like a library office combination in here which I adore. I've actually got some fairy lights coming for these shelves so I'm going to string them along these sections of the shelves because I think when the light's off, hang on, when the light's off it's just dark in this corner versus over here which is more light. God that looks really dark, it's pretty grim outside so that's not really helping, obviously it's not normally this dark in here. <laughs> Let's put the lights back on. So this is my frillery, horror-y, dark academia -y shelf area and I love it. I'm so pleased with how this has turned out, I'll take you on a little tour. So we've got my Dark Academia books at the top here, If We Were Villains Facing Out, this is one of my all-time favourite books, I absolutely love it. We've got this beautiful, beautiful plant here, I love this, look at the leaves on this plant, absolutely love this plant, the leaves are so cool. Then we've got my horror shelves, I'm so excited, these books have been piled up waiting to come in here for weeks now and I'm so so excited that they actually have a place. So I've kind of merged in the thrillers as well here because I think sometimes there is a thin line between horror and thriller, so that's what these shelves are. And then we've got my witchy books going down here, and then we have some more thrillery horror books. And there's actually space for more books! I need to finish sorting this out properly because I'm not 100% on the layout yet, but I just got so tired yesterday that I had to stop. So this is the first set of shelves, and I'm really excited to have the fairy lights, so hopefully arriving today. I think that's just going to complete the look. One thing I didn't expect with these shelves is that the height of this one is a little bit different to this one, I don't get why, they're the same brand but they're just not quite the same in that respect, which I thought would really annoy me but actually I don't mind it too much so I'm okay with that. The brand is called Vasagal or something like that, I'll, I'll pop it on the bottom of the screen, but I got them from Amazon and I think that they're pretty good. So this area hasn't really changed and also you can't properly see the green in this corner because of the lights that I've got behind my screen reflecting onto the wall, but you can see the green as I, as I pan you around a bit. This area hasn't changed at all really, I've got my art wall and my computer set up and a Calithia. So this is, this is my functional space for work, I love having a corner desk I have to say, having had this for a couple of months now it just it changes the way I'm able to work and I really really appreciate it. I'm hoping I've crafted a bit more of a reading space in here because I never actually sit in here and read because I've got my lounge for that but I feel like now it feels a bit more like a library space to me so I've got my foot on here which is obviously for people when they stay over to be able to sleep on and I never really sit on it but I moved it to the lounge when I was clearing out the room and I did sit on it when I moved it to the lounge and it is actually quite comfortable because it's got such a wide space to be able to sit on, it probably doesn't look it at the moment but it, it does. So I'm hoping that this can become a little bit of a reading nook, possibly maybe for sprints and things. I've got my moon tapestry that's staying up and then we have the new shelves. So this is the main area that I'm so happy with, these are the bookshelves behind my desk, so this will be in the background of any live streams, any twitch streams, I'm so pleased with how this has turned out. So these were two Billy bookcases and I've replaced them with these Vasagal, I don't know how to say it, that word, these instead, and I love it. I'm so pleased to have more space in here because I did have cupboards on this section of my billies and I basically just rearranged the cupboard situation and realised I didn't need the cupboards, so I've been able to open it up, which I just love the way it looks, and the fairy lights here, obviously what the fairy lights on the other shelves will look like. I just am so happy to have this kind of colouring and it matching the desk, like these are different brands and it matches so well, so that has turned out really really well, and obviously then we have the green! I am obsessed with this colour, this is green 18 from Lick, and it goes all the way around and all down this wall, I've kept these walls white still because I was not going to be moving that wardrobe, and also I'm quite happy to have the kind of little corner area 
which I just, I'm, I'm in love with. I love it so, so much. Lick did send me this paint for a partnership and I am so glad I went ahead with this. I just think it looks so good. Also, can I just shout myself out here? Because this is like a curve in my ceiling. It's not an easy divide. Like, like that is a straight line divide. It's easy to put masking tape and do the, the cutting in. That I had to like, do in a very different way and I'm so pleased with how it's turned out. It's not 100% perfect but I, I'm generally very very happy with it and proud of myself because I am not a good painter and doing this solo was not easy. Also I will say that the green, I, even for me looking in the viewfinder now, is not an accurate representation of what it looks like in person. All of the colours in my home look nothing like what they actually come up as on camera. The yellow in my office, in my lounge sorry, is very different in person. When I started filming on it, it was very zesty and I do change the yellow to try and give it a more accurate representation when editing, but oh my god, yeah, it's not the colour it comes across as on camera. It's a really warm sunsetty orangey yellow, but in on camera it, it comes across as a weird zesty yellow. So anyway, point being, I don't know what kind of colour you're seeing right now, but this is for me a really lovely warm green and I'm so happy with it. So this is the finished product and I am so happy with how it's turned out, as you can probably tell. I've already made bits of content around here, I'm already just enjoying working in this space a lot more. I think when I got the desk that definitely changed the space for me completely because it allowed me to be able to change my work-life balance because I work multiple different jobs and being able to have that set up and things really really benefited me and now having this behind me and my bookshelves over there I just think it makes the space feel more me more functional and just like it's embracing the kind of style I want my home to have. Throughout my whole home I really want the atmosphere bringing the outside in nature is something that I feel is incredibly important to have in our lives it's very calming it just makes me feel happy to have those kind of tones and that kind of atmosphere in my home so that's the kind of intention that I have going forward with my home I think when I moved in here I very much just bought the things that I could afford and bought the things that I think I needed to fit into that space and now I'm getting to the point where I can replace them with the things that I feel like are more bespoke or things that I've spent a lot of time looking for to fill that area of my home and I'm so excited to be able to do that. So that's really fun and I think that now my office, once I've got those fairy lights up, is done. I, the wardrobe I'm not the biggest fan of being here, however I don't have an option but to have the wardrobe there and it's also massive and very heavy and took a very long time for my stepdad and his dad to put together for me. I did not get involved in that process. I do not like flat pack building furniture but I did build these bookshelves by myself so I'm quite proud of myself there. Generally the whole thing I'm really proud of myself for doing because I was meant to have somebody come around yesterday and help me and they unfortunately had to cancel because they weren't very well and they let me know about 15 minutes before we were meant to be starting so I was kind of like oh okay I'm gonna do it myself cool, let's see how this goes. I have scoliosis and hypermobility, so things where I'm kind of reaching into different spaces and moving about quite a lot are often things that are going to cause me more pain. I'm so, so glad I didn't pull a muscle because with my hypermobility, when I pull a muscle, oh my god, it is not a pain I would wish on anyone. It's it's horrendous and the length of time that it hurts for is, is ridiculous. So I'm really glad that that didn't happen. Definitely in a lot of pain now, but I'm so glad that it's done and I'm so glad I did it and I didn't do any major, major cock-ups. I did do one small cock-up, but I have kind of fixed it. So we'll just move on from that one. <laughs> this is my office now. I've got a little library office space and I'm so thrilled. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry that it's probably been a bit of a jumbled mess, but I wanted to document it in some way. I just didn't really film anything yesterday because I just got stressed and busy. There was a lot going on. I did manage to find time in the middle to go to the garden centre though to pick up some new plants because I needed to step out of the flat and just have a minute back to just decompose from what I've been doing and be able to look at it with fresh eyes and I think that definitely helped. But yeah, I'm not going to do anything this weekend. This weekend is just for sitting <laughs> and just relaxing. I like being busy and I like having projects. I'm done now. That's fine. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my space transform. I think my next project is possibly going to be my bedroom. My lounge, I don't think I'll change for a long old time, if at all. I think if I do change my lounge, it would just be the bookshelves and the TV unit. I'm not going to repaint or do anything drastic in there, but my bedroom, 
I am going to be changing at some point, I just don't know how. There's too much white Ikea furniture in my bedroom, I want it to feel cosier and have a warmer feel to it and I just feel like at the moment the only things bringing that in are the bed sheets and the tapestry that I have so I'm going to be changing that about as well, coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> but let me know if you did like this video and if you would like more kind of videos like this if I do decorate and change other rooms in my home. Thank you again so much to Lick for sending me this paint through and making this possible and having such a lovely colour selection. Like honestly, they have got so many colour choices and I really like that their samples were paper so you didn't have to paint on a wall if you weren't 100% committed to whether you were going to paint or not. That was definitely a really good idea and the paper was really true to the colour of the paint. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please do give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you could redecorate a room or if you could have a room of your own to decorate, what colour would you want to paint those walls? You can subscribe to see more of my face on your feed and you can also find a link down below my Patreon where I do lots of extra content and behind the scenes updates such as little sneak previews of this room before I posted it anywhere else. That is all linked down below as well as my online shop. Thank you so much for watching, keep smiling and stay positive.